Sometimes you have to show what happens when two curves shift at the exact same time. In this situation, the question said that the demand increased, which means shifts to the right. But at the same exact time, supply increased. Now we started here at this black dot, and we ended here with these new curves right here at the green dot. If I put in a price, dot, 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 over, quantity, dot, 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 down, let's put that Q1, it looks like price stayed the same and quantity went up. Right, what's really happening is this. The quantity is going to go up no matter what. However you draw these shifts, quantity is definitely going to increase. But the price doesn't necessarily stay the same. It could increase. For example, if this demand curve shifted even further up, then price would have been up. If the supply curve shifted really far to the right, then that would have caused the price to go down. And so the reality is there's something new. It's called indeterminate. Price in this case is indeterminate, means you can't tell. Now here's a trick for getting it right every single time. Instead of doing bull shifts on one graph, how about you separate them out, all right? Right here, the demand goes up, which would lead price to go up, and quantity to go up, right? That's what the graph says. And on this one, supply shifts to the right, which would cause price to go down and quantity to go up. And then combine those answers. What are you going to get? Well, quantity, no matter what, is definitely going to increase. But in this situation, price goes up. In this situation, price goes down. The end result is what I already told you. Price is indeterminate. Quantity went up. That's it. Story time! Hey, sometimes when you're reviewing, you just want to take a break. And so here's the break. It's time for a story. This one time, me and my family went to an amusement park. My daughter was five, and my son was three at the time. So we went on all the rides. We had a great time. We finally sit down for lunch and sit down at some big picnic tables. As we're eating, my son decides to take off his shoes and kind of walk around the table and then starts walking out even further. And as my son's walking around, a security guy walks up and says, Hey, excuse me, sir, is that your child? We can't have him walking around without any shoes. So I looked over, I see my son running around, and I'm sarcastic, so I said, Well, actually, sir, that's not my son. I wouldn't let my son walk around with any shoes. What kind of parent do you think that is? We should find his dad. The security guy got the joke and was like, All right, thanks for taking care of that. What I didn't notice was at the time I was saying that sentence, my son had walked up and listened to what I said. And he was all, You said you're not my daddy! Then he just bolts and just starts running as fast as he can. Now here's the best part. My son's running barefoot through a crowded amusement park saying, You're not my daddy! And I'm running behind him. Hey, get back here! I am your 